Hey y'all, hey, it's Heather with Velvet and Fives Design. How are ya on this Tuesday night? I'm gonna get us pulled up. We are here for Craft Around the Clock. So if you're watching this on replay, hi, thanks for stopping back in. Um, we're gonna get shared in and get into the project in about three minutes. So you're welcome to hang out, chit chat, or you can fast forward if you're on my YouTube or yeah, my replay. So yeah, I'm gonna get everybody or get get myself pulled up, get myself shared around to some of my friends, and then Tracy will get us shared in too. So, what y'all doing? What you doing? <laughs> as many as Inferb would say. I'm gonna relax tonight. I've been looking forward to this project actually, um, so that I can just kinda sit and relax. I love working with like rice paper and stuff, so this will be a little bit fun. So, hey, Cindy, I can see some names a little bit in front of me. All right, I'm going to get myself shared around. I keep I keep squirreling and not doing what I'm spo spoda, uh, which is totally <laughs> typical of me. And you're not going to, um, no, you're not going to, you're not going to do that. Here. Sorry. If he hears one little noise, he's going to think he's got to bark. You know, that's just how it goes. So how's everybody doing on this Tuesday night? Um, dinner tonight was grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup, if that will <laughs> tell you all what kind of day it's been. So it was a long weekend. I had yesterday off, but we spent it buying a car. So, um, so today it was a busy work week, y'all busy or work day, not week. It felt like a week in one day. It was one of those work days. You know what I mean? Um, all right, let's see. I think I got... I think I got myself shared to my good friend. All right, all right. So let's see. Comment. Hi, Marie. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? How's Tim? How's your grandson? How are things going? How are things going? Hey, Tony. Hey, Roxana and Monica. You've been stalking you because you really want to see how to do this. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. So we got like one more minute. We're going to get shared in. So one thing I want to talk to y'all about. So, you know, this is the last day of my 10 days of lives, but I've learned some things. I really like hanging out with y'all. So I think, um, what I wanted to do is like do a set, some set days a week, like two or three set days a week, um, so that you could predict it. Right. And we'll theme them and do something fun. Um, so I'm going to run some ideas by you and then get your ideas back, you know, but, um, see what you think, what we can do. So, hi everybody, hi Lee, hi, 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 how is everybody, Tony, I saw your pictures of beach day, that's good that you got that in with this, before this weather got all icky, so, all right, hi Beverly, all right, we're right at time, everyone's doing good, good, I'm glad to hear it, us too, we're, we're um, settling into summer really nicely, so, all right, friends, I haven't, Tony, all I've been doing is working my day job, um, working my small business and just trying to not cry and crack, <laughs> trying not to crack under pressure and trying not to cry. I <laughs> just tease when I'm having fun. It's a good time, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just staying busy just with life and just keeping up with all the things, house and all the things. All right, y'all. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Good. I bet she did. Babies always love the water. All right. I'm going to show you what we're going to do tonight and then we'll get talking. Okay. I'm going to point you down so you got a better view of our project. Let's just make sure. All right. All right. Here we go. So we are, let me move these papers out of the way first. So these tags here, I went ahead and did the sides in the back to save us some time because I know, you know, we got 45 minutes here to make this happen. So these tags, if you can tell by the orange, price sticker I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I love them. They're wood tags. You can't get any better than this. Came with this little tie on the top. Super, super cute. I just don't want what's on it. So the both sides were black like that. So I went ahead and I painted this side white and I did the sides. So all the edges, right? So now what we have to do is paint this side white. I am going to need to do two coats because it, it really soaks up the paint and I am using light colored paper so I can't have this black come through. So we're going to do two coats of white paint together. So that's going to be first things first. We are going to use a dryer. So if you're using any earbuds, um, just prepare for that. And then after we do the two coats of paint, we're going to decoupage some rice paper. So it's going to be pretty simple. And we're also, um, I was also thinking about some of these wood embellishments. I didn't know what the beads or whatever. I might, I actually, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that before we paint, but 
I had some beads, I had some wood embellishments, but here's the rice paper I was thinking of, okay? So I got this, I just, I know that we have some um, creators that sell this and I need to get better, um, better, a better list of that, but I, I got these from Amazon just because I was ordering other supplies and I just picked them up. So it's just some rice paper that I got on Amazon and scrapbooking, scrapbooking paper, but this is one of the packages. So look at some of the prints. It has some um, music notes. Um, look at this. And I have music note ribbon. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to use something with like music notes. And if you've seen kind of what I make, right? I love the, the boho kind of vibe, the whole light pink, all of this is totally my jam, right? So that's kind of why I ordered it. And this is actually one of the prints that I love. So see that, how pretty that is? So I'll show you what I chose. And then I have this rice paper too. I got a couple of prints of some rice paper, right? All right, so we're gonna make these into wreath uh, signs. Um, I love to make on oval grapevines, like the 18 inch oval grapevines, and just a square sign, and sometimes even a, a um, circular sign just doesn't really always look beautiful, but I love that this is long. So the plan is, is that I'm gonna decoupage this type of paper on there, like this with a little bit of some, maybe like either the beads or something like that. And then it'll sit in a wreath. I don't know if you can see it like that, but envision like an oval wreath, right? It will sit in the middle of it and then we can do like flowers and stuff around it that'll match. So that's the idea. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's get things started. I am gonna use some of this wood bead, I think. I think so, I think I want to. Is that in my am? Um, really good question, Norma. I think I have this paper in it, but I do not think that I have the other ones. I can add it if you specifically want them, or you can message me and I can just send you like you know my the link from my past order so that you can have it. Um, it came in like a a day. I got it in like a day. It was like a three pack. I ordered all three together. What I did was I pulled up my past order, which was this one, I had ordered this before, and then it came up, um, you know, if you scroll down, it'll tell you thing, it'll recommend things to you based off of that, and it had the three pack. And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> All those purples, and if you know me, you know I love purple. So I should have taken the price tag off, but I wanted you to see that this was just a tag that I bought at the store. We're gonna go through this together, right? All right. And my decoupage medium that I really like. Now, this is going to go outside. So normally, I, I always say I really like the DuraClear. And I probably am going to use this on the bottom. But I'm going to seal it on the top with a Mod, Mod Podge for, for um, outside. So, all right. Let's work with some of these wood beads and see, what, see if we want to do something with it. And I just have some tight bond because I don't have... I ran out of wood glue. So I don't want to use hot glue because I want them to be on a wreath sign. And what if it's outside, right? So I can't do that. No. So if you hear crew, I apologize. He's on the, the VR. We've had a conversation now. I've played with these before. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've played with these before. That's how I know where I want them to sit. But I would encourage you to lay them out before you just go and glue them down like I did. What I'm going to do to make them piece or um, try to space them is that I'll start with the two ends and then I'll just kind of like this, like the, you know what I mean? Work that way. Try to get it as even as possible like that. Because I cannot space or tell distance. Anybody else have that problem? You love purple too, Jan? I know I'm a purple lover. Yeah, the fair silk ribbon, the watercolor from the other night would be, be oh, yes, with this. See? See, we are building that wreath. It wasn't meant to be that night, y'all. Was it? it just wasn't meant to be, you know what I mean? We're building that wreath. <laughs> it's like, oh, like, some of them have um, like a coating on the bottom of it, and I don't want that coating on there. If you could 
hear him out there. Uh, oh, oh. I love working with rice paper. This is so relaxing to me. You know, when you're making a wreath and you're standing up and you're just kind of like, you're moving back and forth and you're looking at the design, you don't really get a whole lot of time to like really kind of like sit with you, you know, relax, sit and relax with you all. So this is like far more relaxing. I know when I watch like my, my fellow craft around the clock friends, and I see and they're just sitting there and they're so relaxed. They got their cup of coffee. And I'm thinking when I am making a wreath, I feel like I am sweating and I am just like all over the place. Like when I get off the live, I'm like, oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Calm down heart. <laughs> they look so relaxed. I'm like, I'm going to do that. I've been so looking forward to this project. As soon as I saw these in Hobby Lobby, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. You ever do that? And you see something, you're just like, oh, all right, these I want on a note on this one. Okay. I think I'm going to do the top two. So it's like beaded, you know, here and here. And then that way the print can live in between. Know what I mean? So I'm going to space them out there. See, some of them have like this little coating on the bottom. Trying to keep up on Julie, Julie Dietz, like my Julie Dietz. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh wait, wait, Weddington. Oh, I worked with the Julie Dietz, and I was like, oh, my Julie Dietz. I love Julie. I mean, I love you too, Julie. <laughs> but uh, I had to look twice. You made me look twice. Oh, that was a blast from the past. My girl Julie. How you doing, Julie? Welcome. Yeah, if anybody's new to me, my name is Heather. My page is Velvet and Vines Design, if you haven't noticed. Um, I love holiday and home decor. I like things a little bougie, a little over the top. Nothing wrong with that. I love some um, really nice ribbon. I love floral design. That's usually what I do. But every once in a while, I break it up and I do some things that, um, you know, I do some DIYs and things like that, both for my home. Um, for gifts, so a lot of, whoop, sorry about that. So, uh, like when I, I mean, my, my dad's Father's Day gift, that was a DIY. But for the most part, I make a lot of floral stuff and holiday decor. Wreaths, swags, uh, I love centerpieces. I'm really getting into centerpieces because of my fantastic coach, Jen. Not only does she sell fantastic supplies and greenery that is like, like in the flowers or just, you have to have them, you have to work with them. But then she also teaches how to, how to make these beautiful floral arrangements. She does, um, mostly like centerpieces and memorial pieces, like a lot of cemetery work and things like that. And it's just like, it's gorgeous. They look like something out of a meadow. So of course, you know, that's contagious. It's all contagious y'all. It's like a cold. <laughs> if you got it, I got it. I was just on um, a friendly um, mastermind call tonight and um, we were all talking about fake baking and one lady said it and it's 13 of us and I think there was like eight of us that were all like, yeah, we just, <laughs> we want to try it too. It looks so relaxing. All right, so we've got those on there. So that's the look. And we'll go over this with the white paint, right? And then we can pick which design. This is the design I want to work with. I don't know if I showed it to you or not, but this is the one I want to work with. First of all, I love the flowers. It matches quite a few of the florals I have. Hey, you can come in. You can come in. You can come in. Okay. Anyway. Oh, it's the dog. Wait, it was his tail, not me. Okay. I'm live. I mean, you could let him in. Yeah, okay. Dad wanted to know if you were coming home. I'm home. I've been home. Y'all, this is my oldest son, Garrett. We can't, we can't really see you, but you can say hi. Hi, guys. I didn't say oldest son. I meant middle son. I'm oh, sorry. Oldest in the house. <laughs> middle son. So, anyway, he was wondering if you were going to come home. Yeah, I'm home. I'm uh, the tire pressure. Right, so, I'm going to throw it out. 
Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I think that said the... Or you go talk to Dad. I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes, okay? Bye, love, love you. Me. All right, so this is the paper I chose because I love that the flowers match what I have in my stock. And I have music note ribbon that is on kind of like a burlap uh, backing. Is that not going to be perfect for that, right? And I would have never been able to buy a sign that would match all the things that I wanted that to be. So let's think. We, do we want it? You know, because I love these little pieces. So we could do one like this. Right, right, and then this was the other one I want to use. So this could be this one maybe. So that's kind of the idea, or we could reverse them. <laughs> we'll decide. I'm gonna get working on the glue. Oh, the car shopping. So Michelle, we did. He got a car. He got a car. That's why I told him I was like, I'm surprised that. Uh, your boyfriend's last name is Austin Moore. Um, I'm surprised that he's home. So he did get a car yesterday. It was just an all, it was, everything was fine. Um, the, the, our car salesman was great and friendly and not, well, I mean, I guess they are right. They're selling something, but you know what I mean? It was, it was good interaction. We got what we wanted. We got the deal that we wanted. He got the car that he wanted. It was all fine. It was just an all day thing because we, um, we live in a really small, small area. And so the car dealerships, like the, the inventory is super low, but the prices are really high, really high. But we live in an area that's very easily, like we could get two and a half hours, three hours. We can get to Philly, DC, Baltimore, or even like Alexandria, right? So we have a big area that we could drive to. Under normal circumstances, it is the summer. We live at the beach. It was a holiday Monday. So it was a lot of traffic. <laughs> it was a lot of traffic, a lot of stress like that, right? So that was going on. Then, um, it, then it's the whole thing. We get there, then it's looking at everything and test driving and talking and what's the price and oh, I don't know and la 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 la. And you, you know what I mean, right? The whole um, emotion, right? Of all of that. Then you pick out the car, then it's negotiate the price and get what you want. You know, yeah, it was all the, th and we, and we are happy with it. Right. And then it's drive home. <laughs> that's, that's a really long day y'all. And then I still went live last night. I could really hardly, and I apologize for those of you that were here live with me last night. Thank you so much. Uh, Cause I could really hardly form a sentence. I tried to sip on my coffee to give myself some life, but, um, the, you know, the boys freaking frack here, Garrett and his, his father, they rode home in the new car together. I drove the minivan behind them alone, which I was totally fine with. Um, but it was just, you know, I did all the driving coming home, right? Normally I got my feet propped up. <laughs> Anybody else do that in the car? Have their feet propped up on the dash when their husband's driving? They say not to do that because if you're ever in an accident, it's not good, but I do do it. But anyway, so that's that's my story. Got the car. Hi, Jan. So, Jan, I live in Maryland, right? All, I mean, almost uh, in Ocean City. I live in a little teeny tiny town in the same exact county as Ocean City, um, on the water, but like very off the beaten path. It looks uh, very much like um, the Outer Banks around here where I live. Like I overlook, um, if you've ever heard of Wallops Island, the NASA station that's here in Chincoteague, Virginia, I, I overlook that. So if I look out, I can see NASA, Assateague is in front of me where like the wild ponies are. And then off to the side is Ocean City. I can see like the glow. So very, very small, small rural area. Like we only have a stoplight. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I've got, I got good adhesion. I've got good adhesion, I think. All right. Let's get these painted. You missed him. Oh, he was a truck driver. So he drove every, oh. Once upon a time. I may have ridden in a tractor trailer once upon a time, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot of fun, actually. I didn't take a long trip or anything, but it was just kind of cool. I was really shocked about how well you can see in other people's cars from up there. I was like, whoa, I did not know you could see that. <laughs> no wonder they honk sometimes when I'm like, what? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like they can really see in there, ladies. Seriously. Like if you're wearing shorts and stuff like that, like they can really see. I'm just saying, I'm just tell just telling you. They're high up, it's got a great angle. <laughs> if you're ever wondering. Oh. All right, I'm just using some apple apple barrel paint. Nothing special here. Just got, you know, the Walmart special that is. And we're just going over it. We're going to slap some paint on here. We're going to cover up this side. We're going to dry it, do a second coat where it's needed, and it is going to need it. And then we're going to just decoupage that rice paper on. I'm going to use some wax. I just have this brown um, bear wax that I get um, at Home Depot. And we're going to use that to kind of muck up the sides a little bit because I don't want them to look... You know, I don't want it to look like this really big, like a fresh coat of paint. You know what I mean? I want it to look a little dingy, a little aged. Um, and we're here with Crafter on the Clock, by the way. I have the link in the featured links. And part of Crafter on the Clock, are the founder, Tracy, she has made a grunge mix. So if you are not into using wax and you want to use something that's more of like a natural material, Tracy has made and she has posted her recipe and has showed several times how to do it where you can make a grunge mix using coffee. It's coffee, cinnamon. Oh, I'm not sure of all the things y'all, but it's all the creators love it. And you just keep it in a mason jar in the refrigerator and it really does grunge things up. Um, I was using wax before I learned, um, or I saw Tracy use her method, but I, I really do want to use it, especially with, with like fabric. So if you're ever wanting to do like any kind of vintage, vintage up some fabric, you want to do a little more than just coffee staining, then this grunge mix is really awesome. Age is it. Oh, Misty. Thank you. Vanilla. That's it. Everybody says it smells amazing. I, and I, I, just, it, I mean, I can imagine it smells like a candle. Thank you, Misty. Hey, lady. Hey, Nadia. I didn't even see you in here. And Nina. All right. Yes, my uh, my crafty friends, they're probably like, girl, we decoupage all the time. And they do. They really do. But I like, uh, I love DIYing. Does anybody else enjoy DIYing that also loves florals? I just love it. As, in fact, painting and stuff like this is how I kind of started because it was furniture. Furniture is what got me remaking. wasn't... It wasn't flowers, y'all. It was the need to have something to put my butt on when I was a single mom and a, <laughs> you know, I always say I, I got, I found my craftiness when I was a single mom that had bougie taste with Boone's Farm Budget and, uh, or champagne taste with Boone's Farm Budget. And um, I wanted to make my house a home, you know, there wasn't anything that was going to tell me that I couldn't make my house a home. So I did just that. I think about a lot of that stuff now. Oh, I used to go yard sailing. I had a friend, a neighbor, she loved to go yard sailing and she loved to negotiate. Like no matter what they had their price, it could have been a dollar for, she'd been like, you take 50 cent. <laughs> like, <laughs> and if she's watching, she's like, I know that's me. <laughs> I'm like, get that man a dollar, girl. She'd be like, it's never the price they say, never. I'm like, uh, I'm not a good negotiator. I'm just like, here, take this. <laughs> take this money. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I love yard sales too. They don't do them this much anymore, I find. Maybe it's just my area, but especially in the summertime, like, um, the people that have beach homes and things like that, they would come down and, you know, they'd clean things out. You know, I have my whole house and coastal stuff. And they would get, and you know, they, a lot of the people with beach homes, they live in the bigger cities. So they're coming with like really nice stuff from, you know, stores we don't have down here. And then they're like, ah, just get rid of it and get new, you know. And so yard sale is like, it's like, uh, my aunt says this about Florida. She was like, Heather, they just like, they'll just redo their house because they have the money to do that. And she's like, they'll just put their stuff out for like hardly next to nothing. And she redoes, you know, she redoes furniture too. She's really artsy. She does great stuff with moldings. Like she will make molds that are similar to this, like furniture molds, but I mean, way, way more beautiful. And she puts them on furniture and then ages it. They look, I mean, it looks like, 
like Victorian antique. I mean, it's just like unreal. And just stuff she's got, some of it's just salvaged off the side of the road. Like somebody just put out and they don't want it. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't come across those things though. I don't have that kind of luck. She does, but that's what she said that happens. All right, we're going to get this one done. That you do a lot of yard sales there. Yeah. And you know what we don't have here that a lot of people, you know, I hear have are like those big flea markets. Like I watched that flea market flip show. Anybody here love that flea market flip show? Y'all, that is like, all right, we're going to get, I need to get painting. I need to stop talking and get painting. I'm just realizing my time. What I might do is focus on one so we know we get it done, but you know that you can repeat the process on the other. Um, so I wanted to talk to all of you, my friends here. So, um, like I had said, this is the last day of the 10 days of live, or I said this earlier, but, um, you know, I really learned that I, lo I, lo I love doing this. I like, I like hanging out with y'all. It's definitely done great things for my business and my page and all the things, right? So I know I want to keep it up. Um, not necessarily with 10 days of lives, <laughs> um, all the time. Like I can't, I can't go there, but what I did think was uh, maybe we could do set days a week and do a theme on those nights. So I don't know what you guys and gals think of that, but I wanted to run some ideas and then see if you had any. But like one thing I was thinking about is, um, so Monday nights is the night that I, I'm, I think I want to commit to, right? It works for me. I love Monday nights. I love to start my week out with a make um, because, you know, it set yourself up with some good content for your, your reels and your page and your Etsy shop and all the things, right? So I want to, I want to do that. I was thinking, so I love true crime and murder mysteries and things like that, or just crime mysteries in general. So what if we did mystery Monday and the mystery isn't about what we make, right? Like I'll just, you know, we can make whatever, whatever. It could be a wreath, a swag or whatever. It's not about that, but we will pick a case and, um, and it can either come from, you know, y'all, like maybe, maybe each week you pick what we're going to do the next week, or maybe I pick it. You know, we could decide that, right? That's loosey goosey. We'll figure that out. That's a detail. But, um, and we kind of like talk about it, right? We do our own little research on it, see what it's about and come and like, just talk about like what our theory is, what happened. And I don't know. I'm just going to, I always talk to the television when those shows are on. I'm like, why didn't you ask so-and-so about the so-and-so? <laughs> do you ever do that? I do that all the time with my husband. And he's like, Heather, they can't hear you. Remember I had this whole conversation that you don't yell at your TV like you would yell at somebody on a live. So, but I don't yell at, it's not yelling. It's like, hey, let's. It's like when you're watching a scary movie and that, you know, when they're like, oh no, oh, and they don't run and you're like, run. It's like that, right? Why aren't you running? Anyway. So I don't know. What do you think? And that, maybe that's not your jam. Maybe we don't want to talk about that because maybe it's a little too sensitive for Facebook. I don't know. I can't imagine, but it might be. Um, yeah, we could do, uh. I don't know. I just want to keep it like a little fun and lighthearted and more about us meeting and talking and chatting. I'm going to turn this um, dryer on more than just Nathan. You're in You're too. me too. I am too. I love true crime and just like things that, you know, we all talk about and like, um, but the person's still not, you know, convicted and things like that. Like that stuff just baffles me as because they're missing like a piece of key evidence or whatever. Anyway, I just love that kind of stuff. And the thing is, is that different parts of the country, we all know different, like, you know, publicity here on the East Coast is different than like your crimes on the West Coast might be different. So I figured that would be fun too, because we could talk about that. So anyway, that was, that was one thing. So Mystery Monday. Um, and then another night that I think is a really good one for me to commit to is Fridays. Um, I don't really do too much on Friday nights, so I figured that would be a good one. So, um, maybe we could do something around that. Mystery crime stories. Hey, Regine, how are ya? Hey, Darlia. Can't say something. You're absolutely right. We're gonna have to filter what we say. Like we can't say, um, you know, like 
I'm going to focus on this one because I really like these um, scrolly things and I want to make sure we get at least one done in our time together today. But yeah, we can't probably talk about like the G word, like as a weapon, we can't, you know, we're going to have to just be smart about what we say. Otherwise they'll probably, they might put me on probation. <laughs> I, I, might, I might be second guessing this in a month, but anyway, I think it's a good idea. We could just do our best and Hey, if Facebook wants to do that, then I guess it'll be a lesson I learn or whatever, but, but I think it'll be fun. Um, but yeah, Fridays, I don't know. At first I was kind of like thinking like a, like a freestyle type of a thing. Anybody that knows me at all knows I love music. So any kind of association with music, but I can't play music, you know, like you can on the tick of the talk. Um, so anyway, I don't, I don't know if you have an idea for Friday, what anybody got one they want to want to throw out there. Crafting. Crafting up with Carrie, with true crime. Oh yeah, wait. Crafting up with Carrie. Oh, she does true crime. Oh, does she? Oh, I don't know her. Should I maybe not do it on Monday? True crime Monday. I was doing mystery Monday. I don't want to take away from somebody else is doing. Maybe we'll do it on Fridays then. Figure it out Friday. Ha ha ha! I don't know. Solve it Saturday. I don't know. We could change it up. I don't want to take from somebody else what they're doing because that is a cute idea and I don't, you know. Crafting with Carrie. I'm going to check her out because I like that idea. <laughs> right, she came up with that. No, I'm just teasing. I love movies. I'm a big movie person. There we go. So you know what? We should all go follow her and pop into her Monday session and see, see her, you know, and join in. We all like the idea. We should at least join in with her then. Let's do that. We'll do it um, maybe on another night. Maybe we could do, hey, I like the idea. I was going to do a weekend so we could do a Saturday or a Sunday. We could do Solve It Saturday or Solve It Sunday and it's different. How about that? Halloween. Ooh. So like one day a week that we dedicate to Halloween makes all year round. Elaine, are you a Halloween lover? Trivia. <gasps> Darlia, great idea. Trivia. I love that. I love trivia. My husband and I are super competitive. Like, don't put us in a bar trivia. No, too even. No, no. No, 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 no. I really think I'm gonna do the one with the music notes with the scrolly pieces on it. Let's get that one done. And I think I'm gonna do the hydrangea on the one with the, um, would be, oh yeah. Cause it's way more like farmhousey, don't you think? Kinda looks good. Let's get this one done here so that you can see it. And, um, and then that way you can see the whole process and you've got some ideas. Now this wood scrolly pieces, I got right at Hobby Lobby. They're, they come in the wood section. They're that wood, malleable wood pieces um they were already made that way but you can um buy like I, I know there's would you bend there's um there's another one that does uh pieces like uh, i think it's called fl something flex form flex or something like that maybe i'm not sure if somebody knows what it is and wants to post it go ahead i just heard other creators use it so um you can also do that I don't want to touch the wet paint. Hi, Linda from North Carolina. You can use silicone. Eye flex. That's it. Eye flex. Thank you, Elaine. It's a form flex. Thank you. You can. Oh yeah, you can use silicone. Lori said. Good idea. Linda, North Carolina. I am Heather. I have Velvet and Vines Design, and I am in Maryland. I'm right on the coast near Virginia, so I'm not too far from you, believe it or not, just a couple hours away. I just got a couple of wet spots here. This is the worst part. It is truly a saying of watching paint dry. Bless. 
check out Woody Overton on Real Life Real Crime. He's the number one crime podcaster right now. Yeah. We have a local uh, situate a local story here that started last year. There was a young boy that he was 12. He was killed um, by a, a local um, whose family is very wealthy and owns restaurant property in Ocean City. And uh, he left the scene and left the little boy and um, hid the car. They found the car about a week later. He never turned himself in. And somehow he has not served a day in jail. The little boy died a year ago. Um, they have charged him. He got a continuance. Um, so he's not even going to go to a trial until September. He's still walking around, living his life. Um, and they, they're doing some a lot of the podcasts on his story around here because people just can't believe. It's hard to believe. You got a little bit of money. Um, the power that you have, it's unreal. And the, the difference is, is that this little town, you know, it's resort town, so it is it does get money in the summer, but guess what? It can't th survive on its own in the winter without locals. So the locals have rallied around that local family and have done... I mean, they basically put that company, the, the business owners, out of business. Um, for several of the restaurants, they pretty much have had to close or sell in one year's time, which is awesome. They own, like, I think five or six. I think they're down to, like, two. Um, awesome in the sense, like, sorry about your luck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Karma. Um, but nothing, nothing, nothing uh, will help the, that parent, you know, those parents get their child back and they don't have justice for that and that's what needs to happen like the whole like them losing a the business that's just karma what else but it needs to be more than that so anyway they're you know the small town our small town's putting a lot of pressure on them which i love i love but believe it or not there's still people around here that can support them it's crazy absolutely crazy how you can find it in your mind to say yes yeah, okay that's okay sorry no, it's not okay. It's a child. Yeah, very, very sad. So all I did was just take a little bit of water on a paintbrush, and I'm just going to rip this end just so that it has like a tattered, torn look. So when I go to decoupage it on, it um, feathers, and it blends in a little nicely than just being like this blunt, blunt um and I'm going to show you what it looks like, but instead of this being like a blunt cut. So see how it's all like feathered and torn? So it'll just kind of blend in really nice there when it gets decoupaged on. So now I'm going to do this top piece. You can see the marks. So I just have a little bit of water here in front of me, and that's all I'm doing. Now you can get like a, um, a water pin. <clears throat> I think they sell them right at the Dollar Tree, but... My Dollar Tree never has them in stock, ever. I think it's, I think we don't have them. <laughs> I think, I think my Dollar Tree just doesn't have them. So I just, you know, make do with that. So that's all we're doing. And I want it to look kind of torn and like jagged because I'm also going to dirty it up. So that's where we're at. You are absolutely right, Marie. Hopefully they absolutely get justice. If this little town, this little town is mighty, um, if they have anything to do with it, that family's going to get their justice. But the the podcasters are what have put the pressure on. That's that's that was why I brought that up, y'all. That's why it came down to it. Those podcasters are awesome in what they're doing for um, families like that. You know what I mean? They reached out to a couple of them. There's the one uh, girl. She does. Um, is it Pretty Little Alibis? I think that's her page. Pretty or her blog, her podcast, Pretty Little Alibis. She's covered the story quite a bit of Gavin. Gavin Canup, justice for Gavin. So, I may have put a little bit too much stuff on there. Maybe just a little, just a little crazy. Sorry, I'm just gonna ooh, wipe it off. And I'm just working on a piece of cardboard, y'all. I got some supplies. I just broke down the box. And that was that. All right. So I just put down my Dura Clear. Oops. I'm going to use 
my paper towel because it's sticking to my fingers. And all I'm doing is just using my paper towel to just kind of like smooth it out, right? Now, I could iron this on. This could be a method that you use the iron method. I'm not. I'm just going to um, Mod Podge over it. And then we're going to dry it and sand down the sides and wax it up. And it's literally going to be done that easy. Let me get some of this extra Mod Podge I'm going to show you. So that's what I did with it. And so when I dirty up the wax, it's going to get all into the grooves of that white. And then when I put the tie back on it, I think it's going to be cute. All right, so I'm going to use the outdoor Mod Podge just because, again, um, I'm putting this in a wreath. And while I always put a disclaimer on the wreaths that I sell that they should be in a covered area, you know, like a covered porch, not in extreme weather, la, 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 la. Ultimately, whoever buys this can do whatever they darn well please with it, right? <laughs> I need to be prepared for that, right? So I just try to prepare as best I can. You know, I just try to use good products, that kind of stuff. First time watching your live, it took you months to find the water pen. Did it? See, meat? I've never found it. Now, I don't shop in um, Dollar Tree all the time, but when I do, there are certain things I always look for, and that's usually one of them. Uh, makeup brushes is another. My friend Katie on Crazy Maisie Creations, you know, people gave her a hard time for a long time about using makeup brushes to paint and to do crafts and stuff with, and um, y'all, everybody's using a makeup brush now, so Katie was on to something. Y'all owe her an apology. <laughs> Um, no, and, and it is, it's smart. You know, you just use brushes that are only a dollar. You don't really care about them. If you are not a, um, fine painter. So all I did was use some decoupage over top. Now, um, while I'm drying this, I'm going to show you a couple of options, what you can do once you get this dry. So, um, I love diamond dust. Um, you get this, I get it on Amazon. You can also buy it in Hobby Lobby. They always say that it's in Hobby Lobby and that it's in, I want to say it's in the section with like a spray glitter or something like that, but it's never there in my Hobby Lobby. And if it is, there's like one jar. So um, I buy it on Amazon. It comes in a, uh, a bottle that's about yay big, but I put it in just a Dollar Tree Parmesan cheese shaker. And when I do these pieces, and once I get it dry, I'll go back over with a small layer of decoupage, like just on the flowers or something like that, and then diamond dust them. So this, the flowers will like um, reflect some light. So pretty. So you can try that too. And then that way it's not the whole piece because diamond dust is shards of glass. So if you are using this like as a wreath attachment or in your home, on your counter, things like that, you don't want it fully covered that every time you touch it, it sheds. Especially animals, children, things like that. Hi, Maria. Your husband's three-year-old granddaughter was a victim of... Oh, oh, Amber, oh, Amber, I'm so sorry to hear that. That was actually you know, one of the most saddest and common stories, right? Of the, I'm so sorry. You love using, Jody Lynn loves using makeup brushes and oh, the, so the sponges. So my friend, Misty, who's on here with the Crafty Farmers, she, um, and I've seen some others do this, but Misty's really the, my girl that does this, um, gets the big car sponge in um, uh, the Dollar Tree and cuts it up and uses that. So that's what we're working with. And see how it's got like a nice little shine to it now? See? All right, so um, while this is a little bit drying, I still want to give you the idea of what we're going to do with the wax in our last five minutes, right? Yeah, 8.30. Yeah, 9.45. Okay, I just got to do my, my timer. All right, so what I do with um, wax is I treat this like, so ladies, if you use like bronzer or things like that, something like that, that's kind of what I, I, I look at it like. So I use a brush that's... Um, got it's like kind of stiff a stiff kind of like a stipple type of a brush right you could stipple I'm not going to um, <clears throat> and then what I do is I just use like I said this brown bare wax it's what I I like and I have clear wax too so if you ever go overboard you can use clear wax to kind of reverse your damage <laughs> but I just kind of go in a little bit with it just like you would if you were like gonna bronze right and I just kind of or even like if you're gonna stencil 
I kind of stipple it off. I get it so it's just kind of on the brush, right? Then I get a wad of paper towel to go behind myself. Now I'm going to try to pick spots that are not wet with Mod Podge so that it doesn't like ruin, right? But I want to go around all the edges. So we're going to dirty it up. And then just wipe it back. Because you don't want it to be, you want it to look aged, not like, not like caca. All right, oh, sorry. So then like this piece here, that's what I was talking about. There's some Mod Podge there on that edge. So I'm gonna avoid that for right now, but I'm gonna go back over it. So see how we're just kind of aging it up? So now you can see all the detail in the bottom and it looks a little bit aged, right? Now when this Mod Podge dries and I can take a sander and go over these edges like this, I will do that same method down this whole side, even on the paper, so that it all kind of blends together. So I just went, but it's, it's not exactly dry yet. And I, I want you to see kind of the waxy part because some people might be intimidated to work with wax. It comes right off though. If you have a little part that you're a little more heavy handed on, which happens, I do it all the time. Here we go, there's my plate. I do it all the time where I'm heavy handed, like something like that, it'll wipe right off. So don't worry about it. If you're like, oh, that's too much, just go back behind it and wipe it back. If it's still too much, go back over it with clear wax and it'll, um, lighten it up for you. So you can always reverse it. Think of clear wax like white out. All right, so let's see where we're at. Okay, we got a couple more minutes. I'm gonna dirty up this scrolly piece so that you can kind of see how this is gonna pay off on the top. And then I'll let you go. And then just a paper towel. So just like that, we took a little clearance wood tag that was meant for, what did it say, his and hers? Is that what it said, y'all? I think it was like, yeah, marriage, right? His and hers. And we added some wood items, like wood little appliques, right? And we added some rice paper, decoupaged it on, and just made it like a little, so now we're gonna add this back because I wanna keep the burlap look. And so now we'll have a little tag to hang in the wreath and then put flowers around it. So that's kind of the idea. Just take something and make it. So I can't wait to make a wreath with y'all with this because I'm going to use that uh, music note ribbon. It's going to be really pretty. We'll make it really pretty and dainty. So, all right. So I hope, so I had a couple of my friends say, I bought those same tags on clearance from Hobby Lobby. I want to see what you do with it. So there's an idea for you. So this one I'm going to do. The same exact process with Mod, um, with DuraClear on the bottom, Mod Podge on the top. I'm going to use this print. I'm also going to still use the wax. I want it dirtied up. And we're going to make a sign with that. So I hope you like it. Thanks for spending time with me, y'all. Um, so yeah, check out the next Craft Around the Clock Creator. And then those of you, my friends, that have been following my 10 Days of Live, don't forget Nadia with Nadia's Crafty Corner. She's doing her 10 Days of Live as well, right after me. So check her out. So thanks, y'all. It's been really fun. I will post my next live. I promise. I really enjoy this. I appreciate all the help and support, y'all. So have a good night. Remember, stay kind. Thanks.